Wemeli kaliang persia uzenet sangma ulabu jingkeli yang sorkar jela hak kenta kali jingkeli hak sengi kebesan ke darbal senrai hak santerik nailur arjar puar halo ke jingsya ayah kita roki bakit pelaput banyak yang kesurok garu padaha dalu mahendra ganj ulah kedau bagani kesurok kebala jat nak kedau ke jingyak sehu kita rok kibalawan raru yang ke jingja eksiden kebala lam sya ke jingja bos ngusi ulah ong bakum do kita rok kibakit lai pupra sopo ar metrik ton kia dah basya tangkat ar metrik ton Usambut Menteri Rangba Kajala Uba Presto Tensong Bada Kimi Ia Ketanat Pil Blue D Road Luang Bagi Kompani Basina Terok Kishna Yaki Haka Rukam Ban Pen Wandur Jongki Bad Om Syam Lapar Khat Haka Por Ban Sina Yaka Jengking Haswa Kani Wameli Kaliang Persia U Winner Sen Sang Ma U Lakwa Ban Tip Ia Ketau Ka Jeng Sini Kusurok Kepada U Belum Ka Yoke Kot Nagaru Badha Dalu Ampati Zig Zag Syam Mahendra Gaj Mr. Speaker Sir Reply to start question 79A, sir, the cause of da for damages of roads is mainly due to the plying of heavy loaded trucks carrying boulders for export to Bangladesh. B, sir, the maximum damages occurred throughout the left side of the road in almost all the stretches. C, sir, the repairing of the damaged portions at several stretches is in progress. Yes, Prime Minister. Sir. Sir. In course of his reply, Honourable Deputy Chief Minister said that the damages caused the road is due to flying of heavy loaded trucks flying on the road. May I know? from the <coughs> Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, whether there is any way bridge on the road? Uh, sir, in fact, this is relating purely to the uh, damages of road. So as far as the, the way bridge is and all, right now I don't have the uh, ready-made uh, reply, so I require notice of that. Mr. Speaker, sir. This is very much relevant related to the damages caused. If there is no any way bridge on the road, how do you measure? You said, <coughs> sir, the minister said that the damages are caused due to heavy loaded vehicles flying on the road, heavy loaded trucks flying on the road. Then how do we know the trucks flying on the road is heavily loaded? or lightweight. So, again, I would like to know from the Honorable Deputy, Speak, uh, Deputy Chief Minister whether any webridge is there on the road. Sir, I have already replied for that particular supreme question. I require notice. Sir, again, and the answer to my question, the minister has replied that the damages are caused on the left side of the road and in all the stretches. <coughs> Why only on the left side? Why not the right side? We have seen. We are traveling on the road. The damages are caused throughout. And the stretches where the damages are already caused, this not only only on the left side. Who has verified this one, sir? Uh, sir, I said maximum damages happen from the left side. It's because the loaded drops while going, it happens to be from the left side. So therefore, these portion when it is the loaded drops. So this portion, it is, notif uh, it is uh, noticed, it is verified also. Maximum of this left side stretches damage so much. Sir. But when they unloaded the materials in the destination, then ultimately while coming back, there's the right side, the damage is not that much. Sir, sir this is my just uh, number 
third supplementary. Number four. Third item. Sir, my question is very specific at B. I asked Honorable Deputy Chief Minister where maximum damages are caused. The stretch of the road where it maximum damages are caused. So I would like to know which one, which stretch, the portion of the road has maximum damages. Uh, sir, I have already replied, maximum damages occurred throughout the left side of the road in almost all the stretches. Sir, when we travel on the road, we have noticed the maximum damage goes to the on the road is between this Ulubari Dorom Chas up to that point which is Chapati. Within the span of two kilometers, whether it is due to the loaded trucks or due to the soil formation. So this needs to be verified and the damages are caused throughout the road but the maximum damages are caused on that stretch where now even light vehicles cannot fly and even the heavy uh, vehicles like buses which are flying on the road could not travel on that road. They are going by another road now, which is why is my concern, not only of my concern, is a concern of the people of my constituency, Madam De Kanchi's constituency, and the people of entire Southwest Carolines and South Carolines. So, I would like to request Honorable Minister to look into that and take steps for immediate repairing of the road. Thank you, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, in fact, uh, sanction has been accorded about 4.42 crores for repairing of this very road and work order has been issued but due to rainy season the work could not be started. So very soon we are going to start for repairing and not only that, the second uh, part is we already prepared also additional estimate of about 5 crore 29 lakhs. Again, for this also, we will make sure that sanction is accorded and then the repairing work should continue, especially in those stretches which is totally deplorable, sir. Yes, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, I think uh, this road is very important. In fact, it is the lifeline because uh, before this road is constructed, from, if you travel from Chura to Mandragons, it took more than five hours. Now we can reach within one and a half hours. So uh, I think as per the tender agreement, uh, what is the lifespan of this road? I mean, up to which year? there should not be any maintenance uh, as per that clause of the tender agreement. Yes, sir, the agreement was there with the contractor that the moment they completed the road, then one year they need to do the maintenance. And that also has been lapsed now. It's already completed because the, the, this particular project was completed in the year 2018. And then one year more, the company or the contractor is supposed to do the maintenance and, uh, and uh, up to 2019. So therefore, now the provision of uh, maintenance by the uh, concessioners is, is, is expired, sir. So that's what, that's what I'm saying. Right now, we have only accorded sanction, four crores something, and again, to be accorded sanction, another five crores something, sir. Sir, if that is the case, then the government should uh, renovate this road uh, timely because already that maintenance uh, timing, timeline has already been passed. 
So, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, this is precisely because of uncontrolled plying of loaded trucks, <coughs> overloaded trucks. True, when we inspected from the Public Accounts Committee, there was verification of the loaded trucks in the Weybridge owned by the company who constructed this road. And it was found that the gross weight of the truck was 42 metric ton, 38 metric ton, so on and so forth. But the permissible limit is 12 tons only. So when the overloaded trucks beyond the permissible limit are plying, obviously the road will be damaged. The cost of the road is, for 98 kilometers from Garawada to Dalu by a minor is 295 crores. So on whose benefit, for whose benefit these overloaded trucks are being allowed to fly through this road? So I, uh, I need categorical explanation from the government. What measures are being taken up to stop this menace? Uh, sir, yes, at that point of time, as I've said. In fact, see, there are different category of the prescribed weight limit of each truck, single axle and double axle. So since, since the company itself has already prescribed 25 tons, 30 tons, so at that time when we designed the project for construction of this very important road, that time maybe the specification was not that condition where it is able to cope up with Mr. The Speaker, sir, I need definite job. reply. Sorry? I need definite reply. The Honorable, whether it is Deputy <coughs> Chief Minister or Minister or any Honorable, Honorable Minister. Minister it is, it is no, no, no. Reply. I'm just trying to get the clarification. In the course of the reply of the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, he said maybe it's it, it, is, it is ambiguous, so I need definite reply in the course of the reply. Yeah, let me withdraw that word maybe, but it is. That's what I'm telling. Right now, sir, we take special attention to these very important roads. No doubt about it. That's why from the state fund itself right now, we already sanctioned, I've already uh, informed the general members, four crores plus, and then to be accorded sanction, again another five crores plus. So this, 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 this amount will be taken up for major repairing of this important roads. And we, we have seen it. Now, the, this particular road has increased in volume of traffic and especially the commercial vehicles are plying them almost 24-7. So, sir, what uh, I would like to, uh, to assure the honourable members of this Agos House especially that we are taking special attention to this uh, very important route. And in fact, our intention also is to uh, send a proposal to the government of India to propose it, if possible, these stretches be converted into the national highway. Because it is, it is, it is really uh, appropriate to say that, because this road is so important road in that plain belt area, sir. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, there is no proper regulation on this road be it plying of the overloaded trucks or the speed limit because of which so many precious lives, uncountable precious lives have been lost. So I would like to know from the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister whether the government is aware that so many lives have been lost by this because of the reckless driving and overloaded over, of the overloaded trucks flying through this road? Uh, sir, right now I'm not aware. But yes, sir, I, since the Honourable Member has brought to the notice of the government, we will make sure that safety of this particular route is to the maximum and we will also enforce the prescribed guidelines, the norms and the acts as already uh, implemented in place. Mr. Deputy, yeah, Mr. Speaker, sir. Last question. I would like to know from the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister whether really he is not aware of the fact that so many lives have been lost, or he is just pretending to not to know. Sir, I've already replied, sir. 
I said, right now I am not aware, but maybe the case has happened. But right now I am not aware the actual cause of death, the accident, all the details I don't have. That's what I said. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not aware at this point of time. However, however, sir, one second, government will take note of this. From now on, we Still will make sure that the safety measures be in place throughout the stretches of this road. Basaleng. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, this is this <coughs> what is very very much important to the uh, bordering towns and villages uh, of that area. Now, I would like to know from the Honourable Minister, after the construction is completed, how long it should last? Whether and then why the you know uh, the condition is so bad right now even after it, it has not even reached 10 years or so just after a few years the road it has you know like uh, deliberated in such a way that even you know a small car can apply so what is the specifications of that particular design how long it should last uh, sir generally in fact the design for construction or improvement of any road. Number one is, in fact, we used to take into consideration the, the traffic volume of that particular road. So once that is done, then our technical expert will prepare the TPR, the design, everything. Then accordingly, road is implemented. But again, once the, the road is completed, again, sir, as as I've said to you, it's so difficult to control to, because see, A, B, C, D trucks. Sometimes, you know, today maybe you have only 10 trucks. You never know, maybe tomorrow, the after tomorrow, it increases to 100 or to 200. So this is the issue where even from the department, from the government, so we are looking at how do, how do we, 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 we put in place a stop where their road condition last for maybe minimum eight years, nine years, ten years. That, that, that's what I'm, I'm telling you. Even the government of India, be it PMJSY, be it other schemes, now we used to have that uh, clauses where we made, we make sure that once the road is completed, handed over to the body, then at least five years uh, maintenance be there, looking after by the contractor concern. Uh, uh, one more, Mr. Speaker, sir. It seems like there is, was a design flow or maybe contractor was not mm, competent enough to construct this particular road because the way of uh, how much the way that particular, uh, you know, the road could have carried because from Ampati to Salmanpara, within four or five years, it is already, you know, all the black topping is already out. So whether any kind of an action to those contractors who has already default in this particular construction will be taken any kind of initiation because you know just after you know uh, covering the patches they just go so any kind of an action to those contractors will be there so that these things will not follow in the future uh, sir yes sir we will we will again examine we will see we will examine we will ask our technical uh, team to again go assess and see what is the main reason leading to the major damage of this, of this road. Sorry.